guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking through a couple of products that I do not plan to buy from things that have been recently released or things that are about to come up to be released, um, aka an anti-haul as you would have seen in the thumbnail. So I know that this is a bit of a YouTube trend at the moment and I wasn't sure whether or not I actually wanted to do this kind of thing because if I'm being honest, I do generally like a lot of things that are going to be released and I don't really see why talking about negative things is constructive but here I am <laughs> talking about negative things that aren't constructive so I don't have too many on my list there are a few um, and there's multiple different reasons why I won't be buying these products and I'll let you know so if you are interested in seeing um, what is in my anti haul um, then please keep on watching First thing that I've got on my list is the Lime Crime Holly Pockets Mini um, Palette things. So I'll put up a picture here so you can see what I mean. Um, so these look really, I don't know, gimmicky is the first thing that came to my head when I saw them. And I think the colour range is actually kind of cute, um, but it's nothing that I don't already have in different palettes or singles. And look, the packaging is super cute. And I mean, if you are um, a makeup collector, I mean, I'm a makeup collector, but if you are and you want to buy this purely just to have it in your collection, then like, I don't see why not. Um, I mean, for anything that I'm mentioning today, like, I'm not judging anyone's choice to buy them or not, because... I mean, I'm sure there's things that I've bought that are in people's anti-haul, um, but personally, this is just the reason why I'm buying them, not buying them. So, yeah, I just think the, the Polly Pocket things are just a little bit gimmicky. Um, I think I'd buy them and I think they're cute, but I don't think I'd really get much use out of them. And I just, for me, I just don't think that they're very practical. Um, moving on is the uh, Too Faced Holiday collection. I don't know if you know if it's a collection or if it's just a bunch of random holiday products that they're bringing out. Um, and also the I Love Candy collection. But um, just everything that they've released in the last like 12 months has just done nothing for me. Except for like the, like I'm talking about eyeshadows and stuff like that. But like I really like the look of the, um, the Hangover Primer Mist setting spray thing. I do want to pick that up. Um, and, but other than that, like nothing has really um, tickled my fancy with Too Faced. Um, I don't even follow them anymore because I'm just honestly really bored by Too Faced. All of their holiday collections always look the same. I think as the years go on, the quality of their products is decreasing. Um, and I can see that from multiple reviews from people that I trust. I guess in YouTube and the colours are just really boring so they do nothing for me so I'll definitely be giving those a miss. Um, next is the Hourglass Holiday um, palette. They bring out one every single year and that's not to say that I don't think it's beautiful because I do. However, um, I've got the one from two years ago. I didn't get the one last year that was like the white marble one but I got the gold one from the year before and I just think it's so similar to the one they've brought out this year to each other and there are differences obviously but I just think they're too similar to what I already have that I don't feel like if I bought the new one or invested my money into the new one that I was getting much more out of it and honestly I don't even use that hourglass on that much not that it's not beautiful I don't know I just don't reach for it that much I've had it for a year and a half now and um it barely looks touched and that's to hourglasses benefit because their products are amazing you only need a tiny bit and it goes a long way so it is a really lovely palette and I do suggest if you don't have the one from two years ago that I have then do pick up the new one because it is really pretty um, however personally for me um, because hourglass products are on the pricier end I just think it would be a bit of a waste for me personally if I was to pick that up because it's so similar to the one that I already invested my money in and second last is the Anastasia blush palette. So these haven't even been announced yet, really. Um, I think only Navita po Navita, is that her name? But Anastasia's daughter that works on Anastasia, as I'm sure you all know, has posted some sneak peeks and so has um, Mario, Kim Kardashian makeup artist, posted some sneak peeks from it. And they do look really, really pretty. However, they are super dark. I don't think that they would work with my skin tone very well. I don't know if they're still working on bringing out a lighter one. Um, if so, then I probably will pick it up. But going by just the pictures of like the two or three that I've seen posted on the internet so far, it, they just don't do much for me. 
You do have a um, darker skin tone, however, I would strongly suggest to pick them up because Anastasia's pigmentation and their quality of products is amazing that I do believe that these would be incredible products but for my skin tone it's just way too dark um, and it would be pointless for me to buy them just like use them on my eyes and stuff like that just because I already have so many eyeshadow palettes um, so yeah that's why I won't be picking up those ones and lastly is the Becca ultimate coverage foundation um, I haven't had much luck with Becca. I have a few of their products and I don't know if it's at my detriment or theirs, but just none of them have really, they've either failed for me or they just haven't really lived up to the hype. Like I've got the um, Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation, which I'm wearing on my skin today. You might see in a video coming up later this week that I do put it on my skin. And it's just a really dark shade. Um, it doesn't really, it doesn't set down, which I don't think it's meant to. It's never really... It, it's the, all day it feels on your skin as if you just put it on which I just find it to be really weird even for like a dewy like water foundation um, so yeah that is why I probably won't be buying that just because I haven't really had good luck with the Becca foundation in the past and being that it is like an ultimate coverage foundation um, it's probably going to be on the thicker side and might not be best for dry skin so I don't think that would really work to my skin's benefit all that well and the fact that their foundations are pretty expensive, I'm not going to waste my money on it. There's a million other foundations that I still want to try that are still on my wish list that I'll be picking up before I even think of picking up that new Becca one. So yeah, so that is um, all of my anti-haul. It's not too many products, but there are a few there. Um, and let me know what you think. If you are picking up any of these for any reason or if you agree with me, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see me do more anti-hauls in the future, I um, probably won't do them too often. But if you do want to see them, me do more of these in the future, just let me know um, and I'll get that to up. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. So I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.